feel good about this game tonight was there for the taking for the Tigers. But the one run that Boston scratched out of the first inning was the only scoring in this one. Let's hear from the manager of the Tigers, Ron Gartenheyer, addressing the media and talking about the start of this one in our Line and Kugels post-game press conference. Boyd, obviously the only mistake in the first there, giving up the one run, and that proved to be the difference. What did you see from that game? Well, I, I think, you know, he was really slow within the first inning. I mean, everything was slow, and I think once he got to the dugout, Andy told him, pick up the pace. Use your fastball, and I think we saw after that, he did that. He got on the mound, was waiting for the hitter, and that's what he does. Um, and early the first inning, he was just like it was like taking five minutes in between every pitch. So, you know, once he got into his rhythm and started the pace, everything was better. And he gave us a good performance. Got you know into the second part of the, the game. Our bullpen came in and did a really nice job. We just can't score runs. What's your frustration about those of those innings where you let Price off the hook? With, you know, just not the big hit, or was it with us? Well, it's both. I mean, we, we miss some opportunities. He make good pitches. And the guy's been doing it for a long, long time, and he's a great pitcher, and he, he knows how to, you know, move the ball around the field and uh, around the plate, and uh, he made good pitches, but we also fouled some pitches off that we could have hit. So, um, so you know what? You, both ways. He he made pitches when he had to, and we missed some pitches again, and and there you have it, a one to nothing ball game. I guess I was asking too, but Goody was, was caught in a couple tough well, situations, base runner-wise, and that inning... Well, he was told, I mean... I, Dave was telling him to go on the, the base hit out there, and he just kind of froze on it, and then he didn't pick up the ball. You know, he, he froze on it, stopped around third, then he looked back to the bag and instead of just following the ball. And he didn't see it going all over the place. That so. short flub with the bases loaded no outs, that one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what about uh, in the eighth? Was he going on contact there? What, what was that play all about? It's all contact. You didn't like that? No, I'm just asking. I'm just checking you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got, I wouldn't dare second guess you. Still end up with a runner in second in scoring position. I just didn't know if you were second guessing or just being a really nice or really wanted to know some knowledge about the game. Just, just knowledge. Know yeah, just, just knowledge. Things. Well, it didn't work out, but we got a runner back to second. We still had a chance for a base hit to score a run. You just got to go there. If he hits one of those tweeners and we don't go and, you know, they make a spinning play, we might score a run. We're, we haven't scored, but we got to try something. Ron, of, course, that question. <laughs> of course, obviously, you want to win a game like this, but to hold this Red Sox team best record in baseball, one nothing, you know, second half of the season, is that something you can use to kind of give the guys some, you know, some pep? Well, I don't think we have to do that. I, I think we believe we can compete. We just have to score some runs, and that's a very good pitching staff over there with a great bullpen, and you know what? Um, they can do those things to you. They can also hit, and we did a hell of a job shutting them down hitting offensively, and that doesn't happen very often. They only scored one run tonight, and that team can really score. So there was a lot of good things happened, but the bottom line is we lost, and it doesn't feel very good in this clubhouse right now. We need to win ball games. We've got to find a way to win it. We've got to find a way to get those big hits, and right now we're still not doing it. We come out the break, see if we'll get going here. But we got to, even against good team, whoever, we have to figure out a way to put the ball and play more and get some of those runs in uh, to help our pitchers out. Well, uh, the former situation that he, I guess, tweaked something in the bullpen here today. Yeah, he was like 19 pitches into a light bullpen and, and uh, you know, oblique, a left oblique. Yeah, so that's going to put him out for a while here. So um, another one of those things, uh, unexpected. You know, he worked out the whole, whole break. He's been, you know, playing catch the whole package and got out there today and it wasn't that he wasn't loose or anything like that. He was just doing his normal bullpen and all of a sudden got an oblique and that happens in the game which is really unfortunate. Um, so we'll put Hardy in the rotation and uh, go from there. Is that who will go Sunday? Yes. I wanted to ask you too, Alex was up in the seventh and then Alex Wilson, then you set him back if down. If we tie it up. Oh, you were going to save him for the, yeah, for the extras. Yeah, okay. those are situations that if we tie it up, you know, um, then you put him in there. Uh, if it stays the same, then you send the guy back out. Gotcha. Back out. So, yeah, we kind of were working it both ways. Just to make sure it wasn't hurt. Okay, now, what did you think of? Caution. Well, he, yeah, he's not ready to steal bases right now. I mean, he's not feeling comfortable. Don't write that or I'll have to kill you. <laughs> um, I don't want the other team to know that. But right now, we're kind of being cautious with him. He's just coming back up with the hamstring. So we're just kind of laying back right now. That's why I get him out of there. Ball hitting a gap. I want to make sure we can score on it. And that's why I put race in there. What did you think of what Alcantara gave you tonight? Well, fantastic. I mean, the young kid facing a really good bunch of hitters. I mean, J.D. Martinez and guys like that, and he wasn't afraid. He's got great movement on his pitches, and he did a really nice job. Nice job for the kid. 
you said Fulmer's going to be out for a while. Are you thinking more than just a couple weeks, or is it two or three? Um, I can't tell you exact, but that's a, one of those things doesn't just feel overnight. It takes a pretty good amount of time. So, yeah, we'll say we'll say a little bit more than a couple weeks. So it's, not, it's not as severe as Carpenter's was, right? I'm Carpenter's not a doctor. Still. I can't tell you. All I know is a left oblique strain and... I can't, I'm not, like I said, I can't, unless you want me to open him up and check it out, so. Yeah, that's probably okay. a good idea. Okay, <laughs> Thanks, Cardi. <laughs>